All right, this video is for those having problems uh, with the Paradox Mods Manager in City Skylines 2. Um, in lieu of the recent update, you know, a lot of people have been having issues using Paradox Mods. Um, so did I. My very first time downloading the update and getting on Paradox Mods, uh, I was prompted with very slow download speeds, and I was having all types of errors. Um, now, prior to me uh, getting this update, I did have the Thunderstorm Mod Manager and I did have mods already downloaded and installed. So um, I thought before I had updated the game that uninstalling the mods from, use, like if you go to the Thunderstorm Mod Manager and uninstall them all, I thought that doing that was going to fix it. Um, and I uninstalled the Thunderstorm Mod Manager as well, but it did not fix the issue. Um, so what I ended up having to do was go to my colossal order folder within the, the user drive or the C drive. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. So what you do is you're gonna go to this PC, um, local disk, C drive, and uh, you're gonna go to users, go to your username, app data, local low, colossal order and then City Skylines too. But what you really wanna do is you wanna delete this whole Colossal Order uh, folder altogether. And I'm gonna leave you um, the path in the descriptions. That way you know exactly how to get there. But your mods and stuff are downloaded right there. So whenever you do mods, they go there. And you need to clear this altogether. After you do that, you need to go to Steam, go to City Skylines 2, go to Properties, Install Files, hit Browse. It's going to pull up your City Skylines 2 folder. So that's not where we need to be, though. We need to go um, one folder up to Common, and you need to delete your City Skylines 2 folder altogether. So delete that out. Then you're going to come back into Steam, hit City Sky. well, right-click on City Skylines 2, and what you're gonna wanna do is hit manage and go to uninstall. Uninstall it and then reinstall the game. After you reinstall the game, go ahead and hit play and load up into the game. And everything should work properly. Um, this is what it took for me to fix it. You know, it's, it's relatively easy as you see. Um, it's not nothing complicated, it doesn't take forever. Um, if your download speeds are slow, I'm sorry, but you know, it, it you can get it working. That's the main thing. Like you're not doomed. So don't think that uh, they gave us another shit product that didn't work because that's not what happened. Um, there's just some conflicts with the Thunderstore and Paradox mods. So I've already downloaded a few maps. Um, I've got all types of mods already on here. Um, currently I'm running like 30 some mods. And you know, your mod store should come up this fast. It's not gonna come up this fast if you don't follow the instructions, um, if you have issues. Everybody's not having issues. But what I assume is the people that are having issues um, is something going on with their folders. So just delete everything out and redo it, it should work. So yeah, I got 34 mods. That's a collection of code mods and maps and save files. So let me show you, uh, I'll show you Kip. This is something I was started on earlier. So a nice thing about the 529 tiles mods is it gives you nine tiles to go ahead and unlock when you very first start the game. So that can help you create some very uh, interesting decisions for your uh, your infrastructure, your city infrastructure, right? So what I ended up doing, I unlocked like four tiles here and I cut the highway. Cause there's a nice, there's a, a nice roadway that goes through Wow, what's
what's going on with my graphics? Hold on. Oh, it's because I'm doing 4K recording. Okay, so yeah, I'm recording at a little bit higher quality than I normally do. So it's giving me some issues. Time to upgrade, but yeah. So I put all my critical resources up here, like my water pumping station um, and my power. It's all up here. So then we have uh, our town. It's got industry, it's got some nice commercial and big residential and lots of education. But the only way in is through the train station. It's the only way you can get to the town. So yeah, you come in on the town and it's that simple. Do that if you wanna live. But you know, I only did it like that because in real life, um, the way towns and stuff actually evolved, we didn't have cars to start with. We had to make them. We had to come up with that. So that's what I made this city do. They had to come up with their own um, auto making and manufacturing. But some of them do have cars now because they bought them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the mod store does work. Um, we got Anarchy working, and we have also got a hip hop radio, but I don't know if it's copyright or not, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, but yeah, so that's that. If you have any issues with the Paradox Mod Manager, just follow the instructions at the beginning of the video, and that should fix your problems.